now that we've made a decision to proceed with Bayesian-based dosing methods, how do we justify the cost of the software? The major justification for the cost of this Bayesian platform is going to come from the cost avoidance associated with excess vancomycin toxicity when dosed for a trough of 15 to 20. Emily Heil and colleagues from Detroit Medical Center published their experience in switching from trough-based to AUC-based dosing. Post-implementation, they observed a 50% relative reduction in the rate of nephrotoxicity in patients receiving vancomycin. This is very much a back of the napkin calculation, uh, but if we correlate this reduction in toxicity with the excess cost of in-hospital acute kidney injury, we see substantial cost avoidance. In this hypothetical medical center, which provides 1,500 courses of vancomycin per year, we see approximately 45 cases of nephrotoxicity avoided, resulting in excess of $600,000 in cost avoidance after factoring in the cost of Bayesian software. Even if this calculation were a two-fold overestimate, substantial cost avoidance still exists.